China is taking a major step toward military dominance in the South China Sea with a secret new weapon. Welcome to China Uncensored, I'm Chris Chappell. China has made a lot of promises in the South China Sea. First, not to build artificial islands and call them territory. They broke that. Then they promised they wouldn't militarize them. They broke that. They even flew nuclear bombers on these islands. The Chinese military said it was so they could reach all territory, conduct strikes at any time, and strike in all directions. That obviously has a lot of countries in Asia worried. Five trillion dollars of shipping goes through the South China Sea each year. Plus, it has huge untapped oil and natural gas reserves, and the Chinese Communist Party claims all of it. And now, the party has built a new weapon in the South China Sea that may secure its control over the region. A weapon the U.S. military may be defenseless against. So what is this terrifying new weapon? Antennas. Seriously, antennas. Now maybe that doesn't sound scary to you. Or maybe it does, maybe you're antennaphobic. The US military certainly is, because they know what this means. According to a new report by the Center for Strategic and International Studies, China is ramping up its electronic warfare and communications capabilities. These satellite photos show a massive buildup of satellite dishes and antenna at a base near the town of Mumian on Hainan Island. They work in conjunction with similar antenna and radar facilities on Subi Reef and Fiery Cross Reef in the South China Sea. So what's so scary? These bases could give China the ability to turn the South China Sea into a communication and navigation dead zone. In other words, all of the United States really expensive military equipment could be worthless. Electronic and communications warfare is the future of war. That's according to this recent Brookings Institute report. It says, the war of the future will not only be about explosions, but will also be about disabling the systems that make armies run. We could see effects as stodgy as making a tank impossible to start up, or sophisticated as retargeting a missile mid-air. Imagine if China launches an invasion of Taiwan and is able to redirect U.S. missiles back at the aircraft carriers that launched them. Does that sound far-fetched? Just wait. These military bases China has built are ideally placed to detect, monitor, and interfere with any electronic activity in the region. Combat aircraft may not find their targets. Drones may turn upon their owners. It could break the complex web of data sharing that's supposed to make modern weapons, such as the F-35 stealth fighter, overwhelmingly effective. Basically, digital devices in the area could be hacked. And it's already happened. Last year, a Chinese news report claimed a U.S. combat aircraft lost control while flying over the South China Sea. The news report said the fighter planes were completely out of control and could not communicate with the outside world, but they did not know what happened. The Chinese report seems to be talking about an incident in 2018, when the USS Theodore Roosevelt sailed near the Philippines. The Roosevelt sent out a surveillance aircraft, and the pilot told Philippine News that China had attempted to jam the aircraft. Intelligence gathered by the US during the patrol suggested that the Chinese had placed communication jamming devices on some of the artificial islands they had built in the South China Sea. Now that's very different from the aircraft losing control. Was the Chinese side exaggerating? Was the US side downplaying it? Hard to say. But this is where the future of warfare is headed. And the fact the Chinese Communist Party is rapidly building up its electronic and communications warfare capabilities in the South China Sea, where many fear the next world war could start, should have everyone a bit concerned. But don't worry. China promises they only have peaceful intentions in the region. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time.